Hello game devs, welcome back to another GDevelop 5 tutorial. So today um we'll be showing you how to export a Cordova project in GDevelop 5. So this tutorial was requested by someone on one of my previous tutorials. So as usual you can also make a tutorial request and place it in the comments below. So let's open GDevelop 5. Um oh sorry. Here we go. Um, GDevelop. So I know this looks different once again. Well, this is GDevelop. Um, this is GDevelop Beta 83. Um, it has been updated. Like I said, um, my previous tutorial, so you can set your um GDevelop to auto update in file preferences. Here we go. Auto download and install updates recommended. I would also recommend that. Okay. So close. Um. Let's begin. Create a new project. Um, let's select a project we will be exporting. Um, okay. Let's just go with the status platformer. Okay, so we will be exporting this today. So now to export this, um, we need to go to file, export. Here we go. Export web. Or if you don't want that, you can also click on this export the export the game click on this it still opens um this menu so here we go if you want to develop to build um your game for you you can just click on this here we go as you can see it's only available for android presently and ios coming soon so if you click on this develop will build your game for you um same here web it will build it for you windows mac os linux um, package your game as an app for Windows, Mac, Linux directly from GDevelop. So GDevelop will build it for you. Um, if you click on this tree here. So now if you go to the advanced section, here we go. This is what we'll be building. So before we begin, um, as you can see, local folder, build your game locally as a HTML5 game. You can publish it to a website like um Game Jokes, H, um Pokey. Um, we also have the Facebook instance games package your game as a Facebook instant game that can be played on Facebook Messenger um, iOS or Android manual build your game locally as a Cordova project and export it manually to iOS or Android with Cordova developers tools um, Windows build your game locally and export it manually to Windows Mac OS or Linux with third party developer too so as you can see this all build um your games locally so iOS and Android you can click on that now we have to select a folder choose a folder um okay I'll just create a new folder right now new folder and just name that platformer platformer okay that's great. Select folder. Um, here we go. Now this will export your game as Cordova project. Cordova is a technology that enables HTML5 games to be packaged for iOS and Android. So package. Now this is the first step. Game export and done. You can now compile your game by yourself using Cordova command line too. Um, to iOS that Xcode is required or Android Android SDK is required so open folder um, okay so this is the folder here we go platformer so this is um, the folder we will be building so for this tutorial we will be using um, the Adobe phone gap here we go this is it so we will be building a uh, game with this so it's an online um, website we can um, build your games here we go take the pain out of developing mobile apps simply upload your HTML5 CSS and JavaScript assets to the Adobe phone gap build cloud service and we do the work of compiling for you so they will do the work of compiling it for us so um, now you just need to sign in if you have an account um, you can just create your account okay so that's loading there we go 
Okay, I already have an account, so um, okay. So here we go. Um, new app. Sorry about that. Um, so we have a new app here. Private. Um, close. Okay, so. Here we go, welcome to Adobe Phone Gap Build. Let's get you started building an app. So um this only accepts zip files, so we have to um compress our folder. Here we go, platform right click. Um so I'm using seven zip here with these. Um you can download it, the link is in the description below. Um let's add that to an archive. Okay, so add your format zip. This is what you have to set it to. And you could just change the name, um, parameters. Um, okay. So now this is it. Um, click on this. I'll just pull it into it. Here we go. So now it's building. As you can see, forty-six, um, eighty, eighty-eight percent, hundred. So it has been uploaded. Okay, so this um this is what it looks like now and here is the app ID version owned um phone gap iOS Android Windows source that's zip package um last build one minute. So now I can just click on ready to build Okay, so that's loading, and here we go. Now we have the iOS and Android. This is Mac. Um, this is red because we don't have a key. Well, I'll just click on this to show you. Here we go. So now that was, um, the iOS is red because we don't have a key. Um, if you have an iOS app key, you can just fill that in here, and you will be able to download it. Well, here we go. This is the Android. Now we can download this as an APK. Um, no key selected, but we can see we download it. So, um, like I said, if you have a key, you can just add a key here, and then you'll be able to download um your iOS app. So download um the Android APK. Here we go. So it's downloading, and here we go. Um, showing folder. Um, I'll just go back to the desktop. Okay. So here we go. Um, this is it. So properties. Now it's in the format of an APK. Now this works on Android phone. So if I um put this app on an Android phone, it should work perfectly. And so that's all for now. Um. Thanks for watching and thanks.